Five Unusual People in the World, Part Twenty Three. Hello, guys. I'm Kisha, and with you all, a new day full of energy. We are born with our choices for appearance. Some people have strange characteristics, while others try to make themselves different. But whether they are innate or acquired, they always attract a lot of attention in the crowd. Try me to meet them through this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number five, Hannah Gritzik. We probably all want our kids to grow up happily and healthily, but things don't always go the way we want. Hannah Gritzik was born in 1995 with primordial dwarfism, a rare condition that affects only about 100 people in the world. This disease causes the patient's body to grow much slower than normal people, making her look like a child. Although she is over 20 years old, she is only 39 inches tall. In addition, Hannah also has heart disease and brain aneurysm. Because of these diseases, Hannah was abandoned by her biological mother. Over the course of many months, the poor girl became the child no one wanted. Then she met a couple, Larry and Jackie. They adopted her. It is known that the couple have already had three children, two boys and one girl, but they still decided to adopt Hannah as their youngest child. You may think that dwarf people can't do the same thing as normal people, but you are wrong. Hannah has followed her passion for dancing and became a famous dancer. Hannah has also acted in movies, TV game shows, and many other popular shows. One day, Jackie was diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease and needed urgent kidney transplant surgery. At that time, Hannah knew this was her chance to repay her mother's nurturing gratitude. Despite the risk, Hannah donated her kidney to her mother because it was Jackie who opened her arms to welcome her when everyone refused to raise a sick child like her. Finally, Hannah convinced the doctor to take her kidney for her mother, helping Jackie overcome her illness. We all want to live and happen it and can smile every day because of anything happened to us. But the truth is that there is a girl who has not been able to smile since she was a child. It's a pity, isn't it? Let's meet her together. Number four, Becky Dees. Becky Dees, born in 1981, lives in Manchester, England. She has a rare neurological disease that paralyzes her facial muscles, so she can't smile, even blink, or look left and right. Mobius syndrome affects only one in 500,000 people. Becky was diagnosed with this syndrome when she was only six months old. At that time, it was also very difficult for her to bottle feed. In 2007, Becky was pregnant of a boy, Logan. Fortunately, he did not have the same disease as his mother. As a teenager. Becky was teased by friends and called by the nickname "Fish Face Man." That affects her a lot psychologically, making her learning more difficult. Now she has had a baby and could have surgery to get her smile back, but she turned it down. Perhaps at a certain time, when we fall in love and then break up, whatever happens can't make us happy and love. But try to be optimistic because you are much luckier than Becky. She can't smile, but we still can. Becky can smile. Instead, she has developed herself in another way, like using her voice to express her happiness to others. She wants her children to strongly face the truth and accept the difference. Everyone wishes to have an excellent height, like a model, but not everyone is born with that luck. There are people who are tall due to genetics, but there are those who are tall due to diseases. We now meet the world's tallest guy right here. Number three. Sultan Kosin. Sultan Kosin is a farmer, born on December 10, 1982, in Mardin, Turkey. In 2009, he holds the record of the tallest man in the world in the Guinness Book of World Records with a height of 8 feet 1 inch. He also holds the world record for the longest hand. After two years, his height has increased to 8 feet 2.8 inch. His height began to thrive at the age of 10. The cause of Kosin's tall stature was determined to be an overdevelopment of the pituitary gland that leads to an overproduction of growth hormone. 
Kosin has had several surgeries to remove the tumors. So far, he is fine now, as they have been completely removed. Sultan Kosin was extremely self-deprecating with his super height. He had trouble finding clothes, shoes, and even car seats. He couldn't wait for the bus at the bus stop because he was even taller than the roof. And he couldn't play basketball because no one would reach his hand. Due to his oversized body, Sultan never attended school. Instead, he started working as a farmer to help to support his family. After becoming famous, he also regularly participates in charity programs and helps many people. He's amazing, isn't he? At any given time, the hourglass waist is always something that women adore. We have had so many queens and ladies whose super small waistlines make them famous even today. No more waiting. Now, let's meet a very attractive woman. Number 2. Ethel Granger Ethel Granger was born on the 12th of April, 1905, in Cambridgeshire. She is best known for having the smallest waist in recent history, with a measuring just 12.992 inch. She was a Guinness World Record holder, until Guinness changed the category to a live woman with the smallest waist in 1998. After marrying astronomer William Arnold Granger at the age of 23, her fashion sense has completely changed, from simple to unusual, bizarre. It was because her husband liked a slim figure with a small waist. Her husband convinced his wife to wear a corset to make her slimmer. To please her husband, Ethel used corsets for a few hours a day, but then she wore them throughout the day like what he wanted. Oh, she is a very indulgent woman although wearing it too much could cause her body some trouble. After having a change in waistline, she continued to use smaller and tighter corsets to get the desired waistline. Ethel Granger died in 1982, and since then, no one has been able to break her record. The Guinness Book of World Records recognizes her as the smallest waist in the world. Even fearing that no one would ever break her record, Guinness had to change the name of the record to the person with the smallest waist in the world alive. How long haven't you taken a shower? A day? Two days? It can be up to a week when you are sick. Yes, we now meet the man who hasn't showered in 67 years. Number 1. Dirtiest Man Monsignor Amu Hachi, 87 years old, now lives alone on the edge of the small village of Dechka in the desert in Fars province, southern Iran. If you pass by and see him, you will surely think he is Santa Claus who just came through the chimney. Even some people will think it's an old, unsanitary sculpture full of dirt. For the past 67 years, Mr. Amohashi has not showered and is known as the dirtiest man. After experiencing several romantic failures in his youth, Amo decided to live a lonely and eccentric life. He did not shower because he believed that a clean body would make him sicker. He believed that if he showered, he would get sick and cleanliness made him sick. Amo's favorite meal is grilled porcupine. He likes to smoke, but when he runs out of cigarettes, he uses dried animal dung with a rusted pipe instead. All of that made his body turn gray, surrounded by a passionate scent, long-lasting like expensive perfumes. And when someone inhaled that scent, they would immediately know he was nearby. You know, he would never be afraid of being stolen. The thieves wouldn't dare come near, or even if they did, he wouldn't have anything for them to bring back. The only thing he has is a pipe and a small hut built by the people around. I think we are all lucky, in one way or another. But those people's physical characteristics are also a blessing that nature bestows. If you know someone special, leave your comment below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye. See ya!